Hey guys, July's uh, flexion extension side flexion for the spine is going to be standing. Uh, you're going to be doing a crunch type action while you're standing and then a side flexion type action as well as a cobra and then the side flexion on the other side. 30 seconds each side, three times through to get that six minutes of core conditioning for nice postural responses to really kind of strengthen and stabilize and you know kind of rebuild the spine so that way it can handle those movements and be quite healthy through those ranges of motion. You do not want to rush these exercises, they are quite challenging, so just feel where your limitation is at and don't force it too hard. For the crunch, you can use a ring or just use anything that you can put your fingertips on where you can kind of go forward and under. So here I'm going to go into that kind of sissy squat action and then from there I'm looking down at my belly button and crunch up. To make it harder I just go further back but I'm going to roll the spine down one vertebra at a time. So the head's the last to go back then it's the first to come up. And you want to minimize the amount of pressure that you're putting into the ring and work with the range of motion that feels good. A lot of people are quite tight through the thoracic so they overdo it in the lower back so you want to make sure that you feel a nice even curve through that chain. For the side flexion, you step the feet out wide. Uh, easy version, slide the hands down the legs. So for this side here, I'm going to have the head come down last, just like the crunch. And it comes up first. To make that a bit harder, I can raise this arm up. And then I have both up. For the cobra in the front, just a forward bend. Remember, if your hamstrings are tight, bend the knees. Otherwise, from here, I'll get into that nice cobra position. Come up. I can stay here, so I keep working the whole time. If I stand all the way up, I stop working. So I want to keep that extension there. To make it harder, I bring the arms up. You can even do a Y or an I. It makes it much harder through the upper traps as well. Then you've got the other side, get that same width stance, and then work through the same version. So it's nice and even from the right side to the left. So you can see as I come up, I keep the load there. Then I can make it a bit harder. They are a bit awkward. It's good to practice with the mirror so you can kind of see that kind of spinal wave whip action occurring in the spine uh, and to get that visual feedback. Also filming yourself is always good. So, you know, and if you want feedback, all these videos, you know, that uh, I'm putting out, I want you to film your own uh, so that that way you can get that coaching and get uh, work through it and work out, oh, what's my next step? What do I need to work on? Do I need to stretch this, strengthen this? Uh, and that way you can um, improve a lot faster. So enjoy, get it done, six minutes, good call.